What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Advanced Warfare and in this one it's going to be a little bit different than previous Advanced Warfare videos. Now for those that want some invasion coverage, I do apologize, I'm going to be covering all of that here starting tomorrow with all the drops. There's going to be a ton of content for you guys so stay tuned for that. Not sure if I'll do multiple videos tomorrow and the next day because sub boxes are completely messed up. But back to the topic at hand, today kind of serves as a follow up from yesterday's video. For those that didn't see it, it was about potential pre-order bonuses for Advanced Warfare. So just by an Activision community survey sent out to a few individuals. Now, not everyone got these and there were some really cool features like a possible beta or early access for those who pre-ordered the game. But one that never even got any light in the community was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers, Mr. Crumpet for the win. So thanks for the lead there, buddy. I'll leave your channel down in the description below. But he sent me an interesting screenshot from the survey. From an option, I need more information about the game as a reason to pre-order. It led to the following screen. Now, there's a bunch of generic information, but then there is one that stands out as extremely weird in my opinion. What I mean is the option to check, I want to know if it will have a zombies mode. Now honestly, I'm not sure how to interpret this. They could be generalizing a third person co-op mode for a community as a whole since it was a stellar icon in previous games. We all know that extinction is good, but not nearly at the same level of fame as zombies. That being said, it's weird that they wouldn't use a more current example than zombies. And we already know that there will be a third person mode, we just have no hints as to what. Now there were crossovers into other Treyarch icons such as proposed implementation of Nuketown in the game, and that brings me to my next thought. What if Sledgehammer is perhaps intending to bring in an iteration of Zombies over? Yes, it's a Treyarch thing, I get that, but it's really surreal to think about another tie-in to the Treyarch games like this in the same survey asking the fans what they want to see in Advanced Warfare. Do I think it's plausible? Absolutely. The Zombies storyline we know ended, and it easily could reboot for another story. Whether or not they want to do that just yet is another question. I'm not sure how the accepting of this, the community would be, but I sure love zombies, so if there was another chance to have it, I would happily take it. But do I think it will actually happen? I'm going to say there's a 75% chance that it won't happen. It's a proposed idea at the moment. From what this survey says, nothing is confirmed, and it probably is only a random guess that I have in the first place. So I don't know, but I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. It's an interesting topic and one that I haven't seen anyone cover just yet. So let me know your thoughts and ideas on this. Is this something that I'm just crazy on? Or do you think this is actually a possibility? That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares on your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that, or it's greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.